Gigabyte Kingston Drive that I have a DTS what does it say? DTS E9 32 gigabytes. You can see a little bit inside a piece of yellow plastic. It looks like it has two pieces that you can hook and pull out. I tried with a paper clip, it didn't work. It's dead. Yeah, I don't know. It's tata dying and it's dead now. The point of opening this is just to see what's inside. I'm not gonna be able to repeat it. But I am basically going to make a guess and see how far off I am. This has a 5 volt input, two of these pins are 5, and the other two is data. So, essentially, my guess is first of all, a voltage regulator, either going from that 5 to 3.3 or 1.8 volts. A microcontroller that deals with the USB output and the whole USB interface, and also deals with the interface to so some memory chips to be able to get, well, essentially, have the flash memory. That memory chips, I would guess, well, I doubt it's two 16s. I'm more tending towards four, eight, or eight fours. Um, but I suspect it probably is four, eight gigabyte chips. A uh, few passives, of course, to support that. Possibly a crystal for the microcontroller, possibly not. It may have an internal crystal that may be a little bit safer I am but I don't know actually if it is or isn't so we'll see does it have a crystal or the microcontroller has its own internal crystal so yeah that's what I'm expecting I'm expecting memory on one side memory on the other side microcontroller on one side possibly the power on the other side if the space because the space is going to be really tight so yeah let's see what we got so it looks like I was correct there are in fact two hooks there but if you look inside at the angle there, you could clearly see there's two little pieces that fit into notches here that would have made it impossible to take out. Essentially, it would have bulged going in when you press it in. But once it reached in there, it would have hooked. I started slipping it out. It's coming out fairly easy, so let's pull it out. And eh, who knows if this case has any use, but nice little piece of stainless steel. Let me pull it out. Let's have a look. I did not anticipate. That actually is a plastic piece on top and essentially it fell down but you could have taken this out without actually <laughs> taking out this piece of plastic so if i had just taken up some crazy glue stuck it in here and pull it this should have theoretically come out because it's not stuck um showing sure at an angle here you could see this slight circuitry so this is in fact a circuit board on top what they've had is a printed circuit board and most likely obviously double-sided probably even several layers and then they've potted the whole thing so yeah not exactly what i had in mind there's a number in there quite a long number i'll take a close picture of that but now it's sanding um yeah what i need to do is uh see if i can sand this down and get in i'm probably not going to get anything useful now so yeah uh, uh, what i've learned is damn it's closed up under the microscope it appears that this circuit board is actually just on the bottom and then the button is on top maybe just maybe I can actually put something on a wedge the part so let's try that first fine well we found a small micro acid there um, some passives in this and this all broke up this is the front part which was over this which had the microcontroller piece and then two memory chips. Now this one broke when I was trying to actually clean the next side. I've cleaned this side of this, the silicon really shines nicely. So I've cleaned this side, and while I was trying to clean this one, this one broke. Again, this is a rough tape, but I shouldn't have done it on this. But anyway, so that broke. What I'll do is I'll take some photos of this under the microscope, and well, this is gonna be boring. And the passives in here, and this um, button is useless too. So maybe I'll shut the door of this, but I don't this has anything of interest to. So mostly this just to have a look at it. So what we have verified is yes, assumption wasn't too bad. It looks like two 16 gig memory and one controller. Whether there was in fact any voltage regulation, well, don't know. Maybe that chip really did work for five. 